Hi. In this episode of Jesus 101, we're talking about giving for ministry purposes. Followers of Jesus are not under the law of Moses as it relates to tithing any more than as it relates to circumcision or the dietary law. New Testament instructions on giving focus on God loving a cheerful giver rather than a mandatory percentage. Nor is there a clear directive on which ministry should receive your ministry gifts. Most believers should wait until the Holy Spirit makes them a cheerful giver and gives them a clear conviction before making a lot of ministry gifts. In contrast, there are clear New Testament imperatives on other areas of finances, caring for widows and orphans, caring for your own household and aging parents, and paying the taxes and other debts that you owe. Since 2021, the constant asking for money that many ministries are practicing has turned my stomach. The leech has two daughters. Give, give, they cry. A ministry is out of balance if they talk about money too much and if they talk about ministry giving more than the biblical imperatives in other areas. It is unlikely that a ministry is presenting the whole counsel of God if one area is receiving the kind of undue emphasis that we've been seeing. At the same time, I'd also be failing to present the whole counsel of God if I fail to teach that the body of Jesus as a whole does have a duty of financial support for our shepherds. So while we need to resist the temptation to make the mental leaps from there to every believer having a duty to tithe 10%, we can reasonably expect those who have surrendered to Jesus to be prompted by the Holy Spirit to give for ministry purposes. But we err when we step in as humans and we try and do the Holy Spirit's work for him. If the head of every man is Jesus, and this is true, then Jesus may well prompt others to give much differently than he prompts you to give or me to give through his Holy Spirit. My wife and I are under conviction from the Holy Spirit to follow the pre-law examples of Abraham and Jacob so that we do use tithing 10% as our baseline for ministry giving. We've tested God in this matter of our household finances and we've gone from faith to fact that God loves a cheerful giver and it is truly more blessed to give than to receive. My wife often says, we don't have enough faith not to tithe. But for those not yet in the cheerful giver zone, I'd say you'd probably not benefit much from ministry giving. Instead, seek God for the changes he wants to make in your life now. But all Jesus followers should be asking and seeking and knocking as it relates to God's will in your life. So let's include these questions. Lord, show me what you want my ministry giving to look like. And Lord, show me what you want my care of the needy, especially widows and orphans, to look like. But you shouldn't even have to pray about whether to care for your own household, your own aging parents, or paying your debts and taxes. These are duties incumbent upon all who purport to follow Jesus. But let me say this, you shouldn't give a penny to your church until you're all paid up on your child support. God can and will care for his shepherds. You pay up and care for your children. Good life is the land where the big grapes grow, milk and honey flow from the morning till the night, and everybody's singing to Jesus. Yeah, the good life is the land where the big grapes grow, milk and honey flow from the morning till the night, and everybody.
everybody singing to Jesus. Oh, I, I love Jesus. La 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 Tell me, do you care to obey Him? Hi. From 2016 to 2022, I've never asked for contributions and none of my platforms are monetized. I'm generally more favorable to giving to widows and orphans than to giving to preachers. The Holy Spirit has spoken to me. Jesus cares about the girls in these homes. I just completed Christian leadership training with Dr. Mark Rutland, who founded Global Servants. I've reviewed their financials, and I am impressed both with their accountability and the large proportion of contributions directly supporting their girls in Ghana and Thailand. Please visit their website, globalservants.org, and pray about giving to these girls. Tell me, do you care to obey?